Hi, it's Marianne. I just got back from my second trip to VegFest. It was a Saturday, Sunday event. So I went back to actually hear Dr. Joel Furman about the food addiction and emotional eating. And so it was, that was interesting. And he basically, it's about how when we eat salt, sweeteners and oil those cause us to want to go back for more and that's where the addiction comes in it's like a habit an addictive habit because they make you want more more and more and more and more and it causes us to overeat that's just a quick summary <laughs> but i'm not a doctor he's the doctor uh, so sos salt oil and uh, sugar sweeteners actually he said sweeteners because I mean, you could have agave, you could have, they're not all like stevia. <clears throat> Excuse me. At any rate, I wanted to show you a quick thing. And so I'm going to track my activity today. I'm going to get a wellness win for it. So I wore my step tracker. <coughs> Apparently I didn't drink enough water. Okay, so it says 59.96. So that's going to be six activity points. So I'll track those as steps. But I wanted to show you something else because I don't know if everybody's aware of this, but... <laughs> Put in housework, cleaning house. Okay. I spent about three hours, so that's about 180 minutes. That's low intensity, can talk easy, but it was a little more than low intensity because I was mopping and sweeping, but we'll go with that. That's 16 activity points. So you can get points and wellness wins for just doing housework. I mean, I was mopping and sweeping and lifting things out of the way and, you know, I was doing, I wasn't just picking up the clothes, <laughs> so... And I did laundry too, and that involves me going up and down the stairs several times. So it's it's activity for me. So I've already tracked my breakfast and lunch. I'm probably gonna go over my points because I went to the veg fest and I shoot, where did the sample go? It fell out somewhere. Shoot, did I did it fall out on the way home? Darn, I didn't mean for it to. It must have fell out while I was walking. Shoot, now I'm a litter bug. <sighs> what was it called? It might have... It might be where I laid my backpack. Mm. Where was that? It might have just fell out when I picked it up. That's okay. It was called Karma something. Oh, here it is. It wasn't unsweetened. It was um, it was this milk, this protein shake. It had like fifteen hundred milligrams of uh, <sighs> oh. of uh, flaxseed oil or flaxseed something. It was six points. I had scanned it. It wasn't soy. It was soy free. Anyway, it was six points. I'm going to have to find it to scan it. I had it. Hmm. Darn it. I stuck it in the little pocket so I could throw it away. I didn't hear a drop though. Okay, Let's see if it's still in my app. Hmm.
Would it be in my food because I scanned it? I didn't track it though. Well, you know what? I'm just going to take a six-point thing and put it in there. It was six points when I scanned it at the event before I drank it. <sighs> I'll have to show you. I'm just going to put... Flax milk sweetened. Wait, flax. Maybe it will have it. I wonder why they only have the unders unsweetened one. Well, I guess I'm going to have to look for that one because the the sweet chocolate one was six points. So I'm going to just... Eight cups. <laughs> I just want to get the six points in there because I ate it. Okay. As a snack. So I'm I'm cheating. Yeah. But I'm being accountable for my points. <sighs> you know what? It had 15 grams of sugar. I was going to show you. This one only... This is showing eight grams. So, But it was six points. So did I track it? Uh, let's track it. It's going to get tracked in there. So I'm down to four points. But then I also, I know that, okay, these aren't in there. I got these uh, Kelly's Gourmet Croutons and Kelly's Croutons Gourmet Cheesy, Cheesy Parm. It's like, I can use it like Parmesan cheese. It's... But it's vegan. It's uh, it actually has nutritional yeast in it. I didn't know that, but hmm. But it's with it's made out of cashews. It's uh, raw cashews, nutritional yeast, and some spices, and the croutons. At any rate, let's uh, get the points. Well, they're dairy-free and soy-free, so that's important to me. The nutritional yeast, I kind of, I'm kind of 50-50 on that ingredient. I should have looked because I know most vegan recipes, when they want like mac and cheese or something like that, it's like, get out the nutritional yeast. Okay. I have trouble with yeast, so I'm not sure how that, but I'm not going to like put a lot of it, so. Just a sprinkle here or there. So what happens? I scanned these and I scanned the barcode and it didn't come up. So I'm going to have to go to create food. So i got to put the calories. Okay, one serving is 10 to 12 croutons. So the calories are 73 per serving. The fat grams are 2 grams. The saturated fat is one gram. Carbohydrates, 13 grams. There is no fiber listed, so that's going to be a problem with the points. <laughs> okay, well, let's see how it ends up. Zero, zero grams of fiber. Darn it. Okay, sugar. It doesn't have sugar. Okay, enriched flour, reduced monosorbic acid, malted barley flour. Can I some flour? Cashews, sea salt, olive oil, grass garlic spices, or in Mars. It does have Kelly's Gourmet Deasy Parm on it. Nutritional yeast. Okay. 
So I don't know how much of that is in there. So we're just going to have to go with no added sugar. Protein, 2.5 grams. So two points for for that serving. I'm gonna call it croutons. slash harm because I don't want to put I don't want to put the brand name in because I want to find out if it has this has well actually it's right okay because it's the there's total sugars is zero in the cheesy parm I'm thinking about the 15 grams of carbs in that <laughs> okay okay Kelly's croutons I can do it So there's zero sugars, but there's 13 carbs because of the sourdough bread, I would imagine. So there's no added sugar. So two points for, uh, for one serving, and that's 10 to 12 croutons. They're really good, too. They are really, really good. So I got them to like put in my soup and stuff or maybe something crunchy in my wraps. So <laughs> there goes another airplane. The air show should be over by now, but I think that one's just going to the airport. Okay, so create food. So I had two croutons, so let's go here. I've got to add it. So I'm going to change it to Well, I can't do that. So that's about 1 fifth. Ah, oh, say it. So let's just say It's going to be a point, okay? For a quarter, it's a point, so I'll track it in snacks. So I only have three points left for today. So I'm just going to have soup for dinner, and I'm going to go over my points, but that's because I had those darn six points for that milk. Okay, My lunch was okay. I had a nine-point lunch. But at any rate, <sighs> that's uh, not the only thing I got at VegFest. I also got this um, David's toothpaste. So. It's premium natural ingredients, EWG verified, fluoride free, no sodium lauryl sulfate, so and sulfate free, USA origin ingredients, plant and earth based vegan, no artificial flavors, sweeteners, colors, or preservatives, no animal testing, proudly made in America, sustainable packaging, recyclable metal tube, family owned and operated, but it's not certified organic. And it also has, it has carrageenan in it, but he said, he explained how it was just such a minute speck of carrageenan. And I asked him, I go, why do you have to put it in there? And he said, that's what he needs to put in it to thicken it up. So I'm going to try it, but I didn't get into a whole discussion about no matter how minute an ingredient is. Because he's saying, you're just going to spit it out anyway. And I, I could have, I mean, there were people around and I could have educated everybody, but 
I'm, I'm not there to ruin anybody's business. <laughs> the thing is, when you put something, you know, it takes, what, 26 seconds, and I'm not a doctor or anything, for, it, it takes like 26 seconds for something to be absorbed through the skin, and in your mouth, the skin is thinner, and that's, I take my B12 under my tongue because it goes directly to my bloodstream like that, and so don't necessarily have to swallow anything. <laughs> uh, just put it that way. I could have gotten to a big discussion, but it, it just wasn't the right, you know, he's there trying to do his business, and I'm not about ruining anybody's business, but it's just a very small amount of carrageenan, but there's a lot of controversy about that ingredient. Just ask food, babe. <laughs> but I did, I did ask him why he put it in there to maybe make him think about putting something different. That would be a better ingredient. So I did put my two cents in. <laughs> anyway, I had a good time. The lecture was good. Uh, I stayed for the vegan small business panel, and that's how I learned about... I would have never heard of these croutons if I didn't listen to their... Uh, their thing and happy healthy vegan which I watch their channel but I'm not I'm not a vegan I'm well I found out just looking it up I'm a, what's called a flexitarian uh, somebody just said the f-word out there I'm sorry if you heard it the kids are out there running they're not being good today they're cussing anyway hopefully you didn't hear that <sighs> it's not my profanity <laughs> anyway that's, I live in a very tight neighborhood, so there's kids out playing. It's hot today. It's, you know, they're out having fun, but the F word was totally unnecessary, <laughs> unfortunately. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and edit my videos for the day. I'm going to probably have, I don't know, my soup will be, my dinner will be at least three points, probably a little more. I'm going to have the vegetable barley soup. And I'll probably have a Ole wellness wrap with that instead of crackers because I was thinking about it today and I was thinking, well, the the tortilla is going to be one point where 17 of those little teeny crackers are four points. So I'd rather have a tortilla with my soup or maybe even put some of these croutons in there. This would be more point worthy to me. <laughs> so let's go back to point worthy anyways. Have a great evening. Let's have a great week. Uh, VegFest was very interesting. I'm eating less, less animal products now. That's what my goal is. Will I go vegan? I don't know. Will I go plant-based? I don't know. But I'm leaning in that direction. And so we'll see how my journey goes. I mean, just cutting one thing out of a time is a good way to start, I think. Not just going, oh, boom, I'm a vegan. Just go into it gradually and we'll see how it works for me. Because I don't really, I like ice cream like I said before. I'm not like, I don't wake up in the morning and think, man, I really want a piece of chicken or a hamburger. I, excuse me. I don't really think that stuff. I don't, when I eat meat, I usually have to put something on it like ketchup or like chicken parm. <laughs> This would be my new parm, but unfortunately, they're thinking vegan, and the chicken's not vegan. But, little steps at a time, right? So, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm not going to babble. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner, and i got to put my kitchen back together. Because I left everything in the living room that I moved to mop the floor. <laughs> I do not want to wake up tomorrow with that in the way. I want to wake up and just cook my breakfast, make my lunch, and get out to work. Because we're going to have a, we're having a bit of a heat wave this week. It's not going to be cool. So, got to pack the water and uh, just keep it cool. Thank you for watching. And if, it's, if you're new to my channel... If you like what you see, subscribe, do a like, and if you think it'll help someone, you can share. Oh, shoot, I forgot to put my, I can't say goodbye, I didn't do the parm. I gotta create the food. I wanna see how many points that is. Okay, food, okay, so 
the it's 50 calories 3.5 grams total fat Point five saturated fat, three grams of carbohydrate. It's less than, less than, less than, uh, less than one gram of dietary fiber. So I'm gonna have to put zero, and then sugars. Zero protein two grams. So it's one point this for a serving, which is about one tablespoon or eight grams. So a table a uh, tablespoon. I think you can put like four teaspoons of regular Parmesan cheese for one point two, so it's it's comparable in the points. So there you have it. Oh, I forgot to put the. Uh, I forgot I forgot to put the name. Can I edit it? I gotta edit it. See, you can always fix it. Don't have to start over. <sighs> Kelly's Croutons Gourmet Cheesy Parm. Okay, save it. There we have it. Okay, now I can check out <laughs> and figure out. I might not. It's six thirty. I don't even. I'm not even hungry. That chocolate milk thing kind of filled me up. Okay. Good night. I gotta edit. Hi again. I found it. It's good karma. Dairy-free flax milk with omega-3 plus protein chocolate flavor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is since it wasn't in there, I don't, I'm not going to go back to my screen. I'm going to go on the app, which doesn't show on here on the screen very well. But anyway, I'm going to hit the barcode and... Actually, that's all I had to do was go on my phone, I think. Uh, let's see if it's in here. It's not in here probably because I didn't track it. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to scan the barcode. And it comes up. One serving is six points across the board. A lot of people put it in already for me. So... I'm going to create food. I don't want to create food. I want to I want to track it. There we go. I want to track it. Okay. So now I tracked it. So now I'm going to go back to my day. Well, I just went out of the app. Get back in the app. It's quite easy. Where did it go on the wrong day? Okay. Snacks. Okay. I'm going to remove that. 
then go back. This dog is barking so much. Okay, so I'm on Sunday. So why didn't it take? I must have put it in on Saturday or something. Okay, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to click it. I'm going to track it. Oh, it says I have to hit track here. And it's going to be under snack. Track? Okay. So now I'm back to three points. So I'm back where I was. All is good. The screen doesn't show up on the screen. You can barely see the three. But anyway. So this was, this was good. I liked it. It's not really going to be a point-worthy thing for me unless I want some chocolate milk. It tastes delicious, but I have some vegan protein shakes that are two points <laughs> that I just make, and they're organic and everything else. So, but it's good if you want to. If you ever want, it tastes good. It tastes like chocolate milk. It's really good. So anyway, I'm out of here. I got to get this stuff done. I'm just glad I wasn't a litter bug. <laughs> Good night. And it's Sunday and I got my Walmart haul. I had to get some more of the Extreme Wellness Wraps. They're one point each. I really, really like them. But uh, I, I discovered something new. I didn't know that the, the Walmart in Santa Ana was a super center. They just don't have the pickup like the one in Garden Grove. But it's like half the distance. I'm saving myself a good hour. But anyway, I got some uh, water containers to go to the water store and get some water. Instead of buying bottled water, they got the reverse osmosis. I've had water filters in my sink before, but they just... <sighs> the water at my apartment is just hard water. So I don't like it. I don't like what I see in my coffee machine. But anyway, I got a... It's going to be hot this week, so I got a little watermelon to uh, enjoy in the hot weather. I got a couple red grapefruits. They look actually better than the ones that they've been having at Sprouts lately. That's why I haven't been getting them lately. I got a cucumber and I got some carrot chips. They're, they're like sliced like chips for dipping instead of the baby carrots. So that's all zero points. Except for the extreme wellness wraps. These are, I got four packs of them, so I don't have to come back too often because, well, I got some pineapple. I didn't buy a pineapple. I went and spent the extra money and bought some chunks just to have them handy. Got some organic spring mix for my wraps. That's the thing about Walmart. I was talking to the produce guy, and they don't have that much organic stuff, and I like to buy organic because especially the apples and so I ate my last honey crisp apple this morning in my oatmeal so I, I'm gonna do granny smith so I'm gonna have to wash them pretty good <laughs> because they're not organic so anyway that's enough oh I got some salsa it's zero points it's zero it's zero points for two tablespoons I don't even know if I'm positioning my camera right but I'm trying to load everything up <laughs> anyway that's in the uh, the cooler bag. So I'm gonna put another bag going here. Huntington Beach bag, Surf City. <laughs> That's where I grew up, Huntington Beach. Oh, the helms are like two million dollars. Got a bunch of beans. Why did I get black eyed peas? Oh well, I'll try it. I might put it in my suit. Pinto beans, that's what I like. I love the Bush's Pinto beans. So I bought it. They're, 90, they're 92 cents here. They're usually on sale at Vons for a dollar, 10 for 10. But I saved a few cents here at Walmart. I love these ones. They have uh, less sodium ones too, if you want to get those. Anyway, they're zero points. They don't have sugar in them. I got some green chilies. I like to put those in my beans. I was putting them in my eggs. Those are zero points. So I got 
these because I'm going to start trying to eat nuts and seeds like from the talk I went to. So <laughs> we know that I get a big thing of nuts and I'm going to eat them. So I got the 100 calorie packs of almonds and walnuts and they're non-GMO verified and uh, no artificial, no preservatives or artificial colors or whatever. They are not certified organic, but anyway, they're three points for a hundred calorie pack. So that's going to be better than getting the, I'm spending the money to help my temptations. And I got some corn, some organic, they had organic corn. They have some organic canned food. So that's for my wraps. I couldn't find the olives. And I got my white vinegar for my laundry and I'm going to clean my little water bottles out with that when I get home before I go to the water store. So anyway, and I got a Diet Dr. Pepper for the ride home. I do not like to uh, do it because it has aspartame in it and I do react to aspartame. I had aspartame poisoning before. So I don't do that that often. I prefer drinking the Dr. Zevia, but they don't have Zevia at Walmart. They do have it at Target now, so that's a that's a good thing to know. So anyway, it's already almost one o'clock, and I gotta leave home at two to get to the Dr. Furman's uh, speech on. Uh, Food addiction and emotional overeating. Anyway, nice shot of my bag before I zip it up. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm going to stop at Jack in the Box and get a fajita pita. I think they're six or eight points, something like that. I've, I've, all I've had today is my oatmeal and apples. I'm just going to have soup for dinner. So I went one point over last night. I used 24 points, so I have 34 weeklies left. Anyway, got to hit the road.